What about when you're in a season of marriage where you're saying no to sex more often than you're saying yes? What if I said that you need to have a conversation about goals and your marriage? What is the goal of sex in your marriage? You need to have a conversation about what is the goal of intimacy in your marriage because sex does not equal intimacy. And what if the goal was not saying yes to sex as often as possible? What if the goal was simply enjoying each other's presence? Because when we frame sex as the celebration of intimacy that we've already established before we've ever reached the bedroom and as the playground of marriage, it flows pretty easily when the goal is no longer a performative sexual performance versus we're simply going to be together and enjoy each other's presence. You have, let's see, two little kids and one on the way. You have at least three million reasons to be exhausted and uninterested in one more physical thing being demanded of you. So what if you change the narrative? Good men will never want to have sex with a woman who doesn't enthusiastically want to be having sex with him. So I'm betting you probably married a good man. I am hoping you did. And I'm betting that you guys just need to have some clear communication about what intimacy in this season of life looks like. You could do something like download my 31 Days of Intimacy, which is about all 12 of the intimacies that we can experience in marriage and shift the goal from a sexual performance to simply being intimate with each other. Go have good intimacy.